Hello everyone, I'm going to be showcasing my Spatial Library Macro version 3. So first you're going to want to have this settings. Default classic or just classic on camera mode. And then next you're going to want my macro. Then make a lib uh, folder. Then place your macro on the folder. Uh, this is just so... Uh, it creates save files for all the positions you're going to have, so you, you don't have to set it up again and again. So, opening this. So, now, so once you open this, if you encounter any problems, let's say, I can't click here, but it clicks here. Then, you're going to want to close it, and then open it again as administrator. This only happens if your Roblox is running as administrator. If it's not, then it, it should work fine. So now you're gonna want to pick how many moves you want to train. So I have three moves here that I want to train. It's just a showcase. I know Black Hole is maxed out. So now you're gonna want to uh, talk to the Wisp. So here on I'd like to research, you're gonna want to click Clover Training Position. Hover over here and then press enter. It should save the position. Now click skip button. And click here on the I'd like to research. Then once the skip button appears, you want to hover over it and then press enter. So now, uh, as I told you earlier, you want to take note of your hotkey. So first move is black hole, second move is dark slash. Third move is Detras, so that's what we're going to be doing to set it up here. So move 1 is Black Hole, move 2 is Dark Slash, move 3 is Detras. Okay, now you want to click Nevermind. And now you have to do some important bits of the uh, macro. So first open this menu. Then, anti-hotkey region. You want to cover the text here on the first move or any text here. Okay. The, just make sure it's inside the box here. Don't just cover it like that or it's gonna might break. And then, next, anti-main menu region. You're gonna want to cover the main menu. Next, hotkey position. You're gonna want to hover over the, any of these arrows. I prefer the top one and then just press enter. Then, anti menu position. You're gonna want to hover over the three bars here and just press enter there. And lastly, you're gonna want to uh, click gold clover area one and just cover up the third clover position even if it's just like the tiny tiniest bit like this it should work but i'd recommend covering uh, uh the majority of the clovers and there and lastly this one this uh part of the macro ensures that the uh, it detects that the move that it's on is maxed out, so it's gonna ma move to the next one. So one, then two, then three. Then lastly, you're gonna want to position yourself like this at the peak of the diamond. Align it yourself with here, then look backwards, zoom all the way in, and then at the arm of this chair, you're just gonna want to position yourself I mean, align your camera anywhere here. But I prefer it uh, on this part of the arm of the chair. Then zoom all the way out. And then lastly, let's say you accidentally press escape, then closed it. Uh, it saves all of the uh, area selection you did earlier. Run as administrator because it doesn't work for me. Okay, now. Just click uh, how many moves you were training earlier. Then, if you press F6, you should see an error. 
cover square area not selected. So now, score region, you're just gonna want to co cover this part of the screen. Or if you want to be more precise, you can go do one mini game and then cover the score area. And then, I'm gonna cover this up. I mean, move this down to the hot part too. Then open main menu. Uh, I'm gonna showcase why we did uh, those two the anti hotkey region and anti main menu region. And same with the positions as well. It's to prevent this from happening, this two from appearing like this. So uh, F6 to make sure it works. Now it works. It's gonna select black hole because it knows black hole isn't mastered fully because there's no black hole uh, reference that it's maxed out. Uh, also, another fun fact, or just a fun fact, uh, the amount of clovers that spawn in Spatial Library is dependent on your frames and ping. So the higher ping, I mean the lower the ping you have and the higher frames you have, the more clovers that could spawn or the faster they could spawn us. So if you have a really good ping, it could go all the way up to 100 score. Uh, I think I have decent ping here, so it should only go to 70 to 80 or 80 to 90. There, it reached 80, might reach 90. Oh, I reached 90, nice. Now, it's gonna click there, then there, close those, and yeah. Now, uh, it's gonna showcase that it's gonna train Dark Slash. And, ta-da! Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my macro.